is Justin Bieber still not over Selena and singing about her again? Bieber recently released his sixth pseudo album titled Justice, and fans are going wild over one of the songs which they are sure references his ex-girlfriend Selena Gomez. At the same time, his wife Haley addressed the constant stream of comments comparing her to Selena and hinted that the Selenators and Jelena stands were the reason she deleted her Twitter account last year. So did Justin really write a song about Selena after all these years? And what does Haley have to say about it? It's pretty well known that Justin and Selena have been officially over for a long time. In fact, it's been over three years since the famous couple went their separate ways back in March 2018. A few months after, Justin got engaged to Haley and the pair got married on September 2019. But to the Jelena stand, the fact that Justin is married is not enough to stop them from constantly bringing up Selena's name whenever Justin is mentioned. The Jelena shippers seem to think that if they keep mentioning Selena's name and comparing her to Haley, Justin will eventually dump Haley and get back together with Selena. To be honest, it's pretty impressive how these fans manage to twist everything and somehow connect it back to Selena. For example, last year when Justin appeared in Drake and DJ Khaled's video for their song Pop Star, Jelena Sands claimed Justin was lip syncing to Selena's name and went into meltdown on social media claiming this was proof that Justin wants Selena to come back. However, Selena fans view things differently and accuse Justin of being obsessed with Selena. After the video for Pop Start dropped, one Selena fan wrote on Twitter, Justin Bieber has tested positive for Obsession 19 as he can't seem to stop mentioning his ex. The star is currently undergoing treatment but sources say it's futile. Another one said, I'm sorry, but for Justin Bieber to do a music video that mentions Selena Gomez while married to Haley Baldwin, the obsessed popped out. But the real obsession lies within the Jelena shippers who can't get over Justin and Selena's past relationship and keeps comparing Selena and Haley. One of these fans became known after she tried to rally other Jelena supporters to join Haley's Instagram Live to flood it with negative comments telling her how Selena is superior. Justin and Haley's attention quickly turned to the disturbing post when they got wind of it and both of them called the fan out for spreading negativity. Justin went all in calling her a sad excuse of a human and said it is extremely hard to choose the high road when I see people like this try to rally to gather people to bully the person I love the most in the world. But Haley also addressed the video on her Instagram and revealed the toxicity she has to deal with on social media every single day. She reshared Justin's Instagram stories and added, I usually stay quiet and don't acknowledge these things because I need to protect myself and my mental health. But it has truly gone to a level of anger and hate that is shockingly unhealthy and sad. Finally closing off with, I would never in a million years wish for someone to be treated this way. I want only to support uplift and encourage other women in this industry and wish them nothing but love and success. But still, Jelena shippers haven't stopped and the comparisons kept coming up to this day. Haley recently revealed that she was forced to deactivate her Twitter account because it was just too much pressure to deal with. She recently joined psychiatrist Dr. Jessica Clements on her YouTube channel for a conversation and she opened up about the dark side of social media and the impact it's had on her mental health. She confessed that after marrying Justin, she's been struggling to deal with the amount of attention she's been getting on social media and said being compared to another woman was the hardest part. She didn't mention any names, but it's pretty obvious who she was referring to. Haley revealed the constant comparisons made her question her own sanity and that at one point, she even started thinking the fans were right. She said, I think one of the biggest things I struggled with for sure was the comparison aspect of body comparison and looks comparison and behavior comparisons. I think when you're going through a situation where you just have so many people hounding you with the same thing over and over and over again, it starts to mess with your mind and then you start to question everything. You're like, is there anything that I'm not seeing that they see? Maybe they're right. It got to such a low point to me that I was like, honestly, maybe I'm delusional. But even after all of this, it seems Haley doesn't have anything against Selena on a personal level and she also doesn't blame her for anything the Jelena fans are doing on social media. Haley was actually caught liking an Instagram post by Vogue magazine which featured Selena's new cover, so it's pretty obvious she was telling the truth when saying she only wants to support other women in the industry. On the other hand, Selena seems to feel exactly the same way about Haley, and she also considers important female solidarity. After the incident of the fan who tried to rally the others to Haley's story, Selena took to Instagram and made it very clear she doesn't stand for women hating on other women. 
She made an Instagram live shortly after Justin made his and she said she does not stand for women tearing women down. She also urged her fans not to be rude and especially don't go off saying things they feel in the moment regardless of what the situation is. So will Jelena's stands finally get the message after the three of them made their position clear? Well, of course not. After Justin released his newest album titled Justice on March 19th, the Jelena shippers wasted no time and started dissecting the lyrics of each and every song on it, looking for anything that could point back to Selena, and it didn't take them long to find it. They are convinced the song Ghost is irrefutable proof that Justin still thinks about Selena. The song lyrics are, I miss your touch some nights when I'm hollow. I know you crossed the bridge that I can't follow. The song goes on with Justin saying he misses someone special more than his life and sings, Since the love that you left is all that I get, I want you to know that if I can't be close to you, I settle for the ghost of you. This was the spark the fans needed to start sharing their reactions and talking about how they are convinced Justin is talking about Selena. For example, one user wrote, Not to be messy, but ghost sounds like a feeling he feels now and not one he's worried about feeling in the future. Miss Selena is in his head rent free. However, others are also circling around the possibility that Justin's song is a reference to Selena's old track titled Ghost of You from back in 2010. One fan posted snippets of both songs to TikTok and wrote, Ghost was Justin's goodbye to Selena. But also some fans who are not necessarily Jelena shippers think that Ghost is definitely about Selena. One of them wrote, Listen, I'm not a Jelena shipper and I'm not even one to throw Selena into everything involving Justin because at the end of the day, they're two separate people living two separate lives. But Ghost screams Selena, like screams her. But there are also the ones who don't fancy the idea of Justin still singing about Selena at this point. One person wrote, that guy is a nutcase still pushing this while married and then people wonder why she has so many songs about him saying she's done. But of course, this would make the Beliebers and Selenators clash as some of them did on Twitter. For example, after a Selena fan shaded Justin's album Justice, a Belieber replied, Imagine being so obsessed with Justin more than Selena. Might as well be a fan. But according to these fans, the song Ghost is actually about losing a loved one to COVID and has nothing to do with Selena or her song at all. One Twitter user wrote, I bet Justin's song Ghost is not about Selena. It's probably about his family members who have passed away or it's just for the grief of COVID victims. I hate it when people still try to tangle them. I know I'm not the only one who's glad Jelena is completely over. But to end all controversy around the subject, Justin himself discussed the song's meeting during a recent interview with Vogue and confirmed that the COVID-19 pandemic inspired him to write a song about losing someone you love. Justin said, I know this has been a really challenging year when we've lost loved ones and relationships too. The hook is saying if I can't get close to you, I'll settle for the ghost of you. That works for this quarantine situation. We're not relating and connecting in the same way. It has allowed us to rally, have these memories. I hope this resonates and I hope it fills your heart up with joy or comfort in some sort of way. So what do you think? Do you believe Justin is actually telling the truth or is the song really about Selena and he just doesn't want to admit it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and until next time.